morning, Colonel. All quiet on the Western Front? I'll let you know. Good. Yes, hello. Security on the line. And? Inquiries on UFO report YP195 may be reopened now. And? W will you be handling it yourself? Well, since I have no idea what UFO report YP195 is all about, I can't answer the question. You see, the last report was numbered around 7,000, so you have the advantage on me, Colonel. Well, this was 10 years ago. The main witness was run down by a car and has been in a coma ever since. That is, until this morning. How is she? I don't know. The hospital just said that she was conscious. Dr. Jackson's on his way there now. <coughs> Colonel Johns was on that case. Would you like me to ask him to follow it through with you? No. I'll handle it. Get me Colonel Foster. Dr. Jackson, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Has she remembered anything yet? Well, she hasn't spoken yet. Uh, uh, shall I lead the way? How's our security? Uh, adequate. Doctor, medically speaking, do you think it's safe for me to question her so soon? Oh, yes, certainly. In fact, it can only help. You see, she's been in limbo for the last ten years. We must get her mind active as quickly as possible. It's very difficult in a case like this. Uh, she could have total recall or remember only fragments. You see, uh, as far as she's concerned, the accident happened yesterday, and this will be your best opportunity. I see. Okay, thank you. Fraser? Miss Fraser? Can you hear me? There's, There's a gentleman here, here to, to ask, ask you a few questions. questions. She obviously remembers me as the man who was driving the car that knocked her down. Mm, yes, but I explained that you were in no way responsible. Does she accept that? In the main, but uh, it's up to you to gain her confidence. Shouldn't we wait a few days, Doctor? Well, uh, she needs uh, shock therapy. As I said, you can only help her. Have you told her that she's been in a coma for the past ten years? No, no. But when she finds out she will need a friend, her parents are both now dead. She doesn't know that either? No. She specifically asked us not to contact them. Do you know why? No, but it's really up to you. You're her only link with the past.
I'm uh, sorry if I frightened you just now. But perhaps it will help if I explain things to you. My name is Straker. Ed Straker. I work for an organization whose function it is to investigate all reports concerning unidentified flying objects. You saw one? Yes. Would you like to tell me about it? Huh. Take your time. Yesterday. Where did you see it? The farmhouse. I was on the roof of the farmhouse. Do you remember where this farmhouse was? Is, Miss Fraser? No, I don't know. Well, how did you come to be there? We needed somewhere to sleep. We? Oui. Tim. Who is Tim? I didn't know him very well. We met at Piccadilly Circus. He's dead. How did he die? He fell off the roof. You live in London? No. What were you doing in Piccadilly Circus? I ran away from home. Why? To be by myself. Where is that farm? I don't know. What is your name? Catherine Fraser. How do you feel like telling me about it? I'd run away f from home because I was being stifled by my parents. Oh, I loved them very much. But I just wanted to be by myself for a while. I was on the point of returning home. There was nowhere to go. I was just wandering through the crowd. Then I saw Tim. <laughs> it was only yesterday. There must be something we can do. If only we hadn't met, he might... We chatted for a while. And then we were asked to move on. assisted on a 15-hour operation on a little kid, and he lived. And that same night on television, I saw a newsreel of men killing each other. Suddenly, I lost the urge to become a doctor. Oh, Tim, look, I now mean look, that... let's drop it, okay? I mean, you know, just enjoy the day. Okay, sorry. Okay. None of my business, anyway. Hey, look. I wasn't just a layabout. You know, I wanted to do something that I really believed in. Well, that's good. Did you? Yeah, I went on a peace march. Only got as far as Manchester. It started raining. Yeah, do you like the country? Country? Yeah, fields and trees. Yes, yeah, so, sir. Well, come on then. He said he wanted to leave. Get out into the countryside. He knew a place, a farmhouse. If we hadn't managed to get a lift, he'd still... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. As we walked to the farm, we were happy. How could I have possibly known what was going to happen? What's 
the matter? I don't know. I don't mind the daylight. I just can't take the night. Oh, well, I've got some aspirin. Might help you to sleep. <laughs> aspirin? Well, you can't spend the whole night walking around, can you? You go to sleep. I'll be all right, OK? What are they? Oh, they're just something to, to make me relax. I don't believe you. They're perfectly harmless. What do they do? Here, try a couple. Okay. It's all right. They're not addictive.
we saw the spacemen, we'd no idea. No sense at all of the terrible danger we were in. What were they doing? They were digging a sort of hole in the floor. Burying something. And there was this cylinder. A cylinder? Yes, like a mechanism. Tim picked it up and then he threw it to me. And this device belonged to the aliens? Yes, they wanted it back. They chased us. But to Tim and I, it was just a fantastic game. We weren't afraid of anything. Tim even encouraged them to join in. Oh! in the hole that they had dug. I don't know. Try and describe it to me. Well, it was a sort of container, quite big. You could see through it. It had sections, colors. And what did you do with the piece that you took? I had it with me when I left the farmhouse, but I don't know what I did with it. Please try and remember, Catherine. It's very important. I don't know. I just don't know. Sorry to have to ask you all these questions. You must be feeling... No, it's all right. Now, think very carefully before you answer this, Catherine. Where is that farm? All I can tell you is that we walked for miles when the truck driver dropped us. I'm sorry. I, I just have no idea. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Now, tell me... What happened after you came to? Uh, I must have been unconscious for a long time. When I woke up, I, I was cold and frightened. It was morning. It all seemed like a horrible nightmare.
Sorry, I was so frightened. I can barely remember what he looked like. Just his name. Tim. Well, I think that's enough for today. May I come back tomorrow? Yes, of course. Try not to worry, Catherine. You're in safe hands here. Oh, and if there's anything you need, just ask Dr. Jackson. Oh, this dead case has come back to life with a vengeance. In a derelict farmhouse, the aliens have planted a bomb. Ten years ago. And the girl doesn't remember where the bomb is? Right. Well, why hasn't the bomb exploded? Well, it seems the girl took away one of its vital parts and lost it. And we have to find that bomb. Paul, I want you to start searching every farm that existed between here and here. Well, that's going to take weeks. I mean, most of this area is built up now. Yes, I know, I know. The only other alternative is if the girl suddenly remembers what she did with the part of the bomb that she took away. And at the moment, that doesn't seem very likely. Be kind enough to ask the doctor if he could come in here for a moment. Uh, I'm sorry, Commander, but I had to tell her. Why? You should have left it to me. Well, last night she asked for her parents. I didn't have any choice. Oh, the poor kid. How did she take it? Pretty hard, pretty hard, but she asked for you. Apart from... No. My parents weren't young and I was an only child. Friends? School friends? None. Catherine, when all this is over... You're very kind. Thank you. The sooner it is over. Now, do you feel up to it? I'm all right. Well, when the UFO left, I hid for a long time. I didn't know what to do. And then I ran away from the farmhouse. I, I was so confused. I just had to get away. The next thing I remember is coming out of a field onto a road. Can you remember seeing a signpost? No, I, I don't think so. Oh, there was an orchard. Then I stopped a truck and got a lift. I wasn't really listening. I was still confused and frightened. Then he pulled the truck off the road.
right out in front of me. There was nothing uh, I could do. Uh, and the dead flying saucer took him. And that's the last thing I remember. Do you think you still had that piece of mechanism then? That's all right. Well, I better take you back to your room. I don't want to get in any trouble with your doctor. When are you coming again? Tomorrow. Well, that's the search in Area 18 completed. But even with a full crew, it's still going to take us the best part of three months. Well, then you'll have to split your forces, Paul. Catherine thinks she had her piece of the bomb when she left the farmhouse. Look, don't you think we're making a mountain out of a molehill? I mean, that was ten years ago. Do you remember what happened in Turkey in 1970, Paul? 80,000 people killed, an entire city destroyed? Yes, but that was an earthquake. Was it? A UFO was reported over the area a few hours before the quake struck. Now, our farmhouse incident occurred three days later. Put me through to search headquarters. you were dead. Did you? I'm sorry I shocked you. Oh, I just don't know. It was all a dream. A bad trip. You mean I imagined? Everything. Oh, Tim. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad you remembered me. You're real. Some of it was real. The farmhouse. Oh, the mechanism. I, I had that. Yes, after. what about the mechanism? Ed Straker wants it. Oh, I don't know. I'm so confused. Was that part of the dream? Where is it? What? The mechanism. What did you do with it? Well, you can tell me, Catherine. I've tried. I, I can't remember. Tim, it wasn't a dream. You were dead. They dragged you to that... Shut up. When they took me on board, I was resuscitated. I have a task to complete. Where is that mechanism? Where is that missing piece? Tim! The injection will make you tell me. You will tell me. Commander, you'd better come to the hospital immediately. I'm on my way. I have to go to the hospital. I'll call you from there. I have to see Miss Ross. When the injection worked, I remembered every detail after I left the farm. I came to a humpback bridge over a canal. I still had the mechanism with me. I threw it over the bridge. Into the water? No. There was a houseboat. It landed in the houseboat. And you told Tim all this? Yes. I can barely remember his name. Tim. How long ago did he leave? About an hour.
get me security. have been dead for only a few minutes. Now, the boy must have found the mechanism, otherwise he would still have been there. God help us. Where are the maps? In the car. Better get them. Catherine. Catherine, I'm sorry, but we must try again. This is where the accident happened. You ran into the road from here. Can you retrace your steps back to the farmhouse from that point? Do you remember how long you walked? Two or three, maybe five hours, I don't know. Well, this is no good. We're still going to be here when that bomb blows up and Britain splits in half. chance. What is this drug, Doctor? I don't know. It wasn't anything I've seen before. Would another injection harm her? The last one doubled her pulse rate. It's nowhere near back to normal. I don't know what would happen. But you must use it. I won't take the responsibility. Paul, you could kill her. Look, thousands of people may die if we don't try. Use it. for about four or five hundred yards till I, I came to some fields. I cut across them. There was a water tower in the second one. Next I came to a public house called King's Arms. The farmhouse was only about oh, less than a mile from the main road on the right. It's there. The farm's still there. How is she, Doctor? Let's get to that farmhouse.
off. Wait, Paul. Liquids held apart by separate compartments. The outer casing of the last piece to be inserted is of a different substance and would appear to be the detonator. The object you see is to fracture the walls between the chemicals. They mix and uh, <laughs> goodbye, England. How is the detonator activated? I haven't the faintest idea. The only suggestion I can make is to drill through the outer casing and extract one of the liquids. Will that work? Well, if it doesn't, there won't be anybody around here to say I told you so. Ring the drill, will you? And we'll need that green box. Good. Beryllium steel. And not a bloody scratch. Well, there's only one thing for it. I'll have to remove it. To where? A little of the Atlantic. The tidal wave will destroy the coastline of every country around it. Yes, I am aware of that. There'll have to be a mass evacuation. Space. We'll dump it in space. Paul, get on the Colonel Branston. Tell him to get a radio control space dumper down here immediately. Yes, sir. And the right equipment to tow this thing out of here. All right, gentlemen, let's start digging. Careful. Commander, it's beginning to react. Commander, I don't think you'll need us anymore, so uh, we'll leave you to it. Well, thank you, Major. All right. All in the day's work. Good luck. Um, why don't you go back with them? I can take care of this. Well, thank you, Paul, but uh, I think I'll stay here and see this through. Uh, would you go back and look yeah. after Catherine? Sure. Oh, tell her, uh, tell her I'll be back as soon as I can. Of course. Cool. Space dump at 24,000 miles from Earth. Detonation time minus 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one, zero. Commander. What's wrong? Is it Catherine? Commander. Boys extra years had to come from somewhere. We can only assume they took them from Catherine when she was unconscious. On the farm roof. But how? How is it possible? I don't know. And I'm glad. I don't know. But he lived ten years. She's... She... They didn't know how long it would take the boy to complete his task. He could have lived on borrowed time for another fifty years. When did it happen? About six hours ago. About the same time the boy died. Ed, if there's anything I can... Huh. 